Hey guys, welcome to a brand spankingly new deep playthrough um, of Resident Evil 4. This is the, I think it came out in 2014. This is the ultimate high definition edition or ultimate edition and that's HD. Um, and it is the, the a pretty faithful um, rendition of the, the original 2005 game which I remember playing, I think it was actually oh, on the PlayStation 2 or something, but at least like everybody, the game made a huge impact uh, also on me. It was an amazing um, survival horror game. So I don't know what, it, uh, what the trigger was. I don't really remember because it was like a week ago or something, but I um, read about the game or something and I'm also... I'm aware I'm starting a lot of playthroughs in parallel now because I'm, I'm somehow in, in the nostalgia vibe of uh, early 2000 games. Um, I've started Halo, I've started Gears of War, I've started Killzone 2 uh, and now Resident Evil 4. Uh, I just briefly uh, wanted to boot it up and then I yeah, really got captured by it again. Um, but that was already quite a long time ago because since then I've been modding the game myself because there was no mod available to um, reduce the hot elements. There were like super intrusive um, uh, button prompts and huge text everywhere the, with everything that you can interact with. There's like a big Xbox, um, the, like the X button from the Xbox controller popping up and a huge uh, font size caps look. Yeah, you can open this door or yeah, press X to um, check this out. And so that was really, I, I couldn't play it that way. So I, um, after a lot of fiddling, um, I did manage to remove it. I also reduced the crosshair, which was the, the laser dot, which was also way too big. Uh, it, when you were aiming at an, uh, when you are aiming at an enemy's head, it basically the, the, the dot is just as big as the head itself. Makes no sense. Um, and I also, there's this HD project that came out and I was also uh, uh, comparing files and, and trying to figure out how to, uh, to make my own modifications. So everything all together really took, took some time, but I really, uh, I do enjoy fiddling with games like that. Um, so the HUD, it will be a zero HUD mostly uh, playthrough, so all the button prompts, text prompts are gone, except when it is unique text like item descriptions or um, anything that is not like um, the, the open door, uh, safe game, stuff like that. That, that, that is still in, in, the, um, yeah, in the interface. I will also disable the health bar and the ammo counter, so it really will be uh, as much as possible zero huts. If it was up to me, but I don't really have the time now and uh, the energy anymore to dive into it, I would also disable the, the object uh, flickering, like, like ammunition and stuff. They, they are, uh, that, that has, that has like this glow on them, like this um, on-off glow flickering going on. It's, it's all that kind of stuff. It's all unimmersive. It takes you out of the experience in my view. But yeah, that is still uh, in the game, but it's actually not that um, uh, disturbing. Um, so yes, that will be the interface and I will be playing it on the hardest difficulty level, professional. I did play test it a little bit, trying to get that hot uh, mod to work um, on normal difficulty level. But there is also a pretty cool mod that I have installed that, for example, that, that there are some, some uh, little quality of improvement um, uh, modifications that that hot mod makes, like uh, you can skip the intro movie, so you can reload the weapon without aiming. In the default game, you first have to aim the weapon before you can reload. Makes zero sense. Uh, and there was maybe one or two other, yeah, some, some general fixes that were never fixed even uh, in this uh, UHD release from the original game, there were still some, some items that needed to be fixed. That is what that mod does. But that mod also allows um, selecting from the start the highest difficulty level, professional. Because normally, like several games actually uh, from this era, I think Killzone and Gears of War do the same thing. You can only select the highest difficulty level once you have already run through the game, completed the game once on, uh, on normal. 
uh, or on the on the, the second highest difficulty level which yeah, I, I really don't understand why they would do that it's probably to artificially uh, prolong the, uh, the or the yeah the, the replayability uh, so to say but with that mod installed I hope we can immediately go for the um, highest difficulty level um, then last thing and then we will start the game is on that mod if you also would like to play this game it is super cheap now on uh, steam you can just get it of course there was the um, the remaster uh, of this game of 2023 or 2022 i don't know i think 2023 uh, came out and that's i guess uh, gets the full attention meaning this game is really super cheap and uh, honestly, I don't like the remasters that they are doing, mostly not. I didn't like it. Initially, I liked the, the Tomb Raider one, but when I really compared it to the original graphics, the art design is often getting lost. Also with Halo Combat Evolved that I'm doing now, the, 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 the remaster, it is a totally different game. It is really insulting to, to, the, to the master developers that created these iconic games. The, the games with so much aura around them, and otherwise there wouldn't not even be something to, to remaster if they weren't great games. But then some new developers come in, rarely the, the same uh, developing house, and they just totally give it their own creative uh, vision and make it a totally different game. Yes, then it's higher resolution and it has some additional graphics uh, effects, but the whole grittiness the, the actual cool uh, cool factor of, of those those early 2000 games totally gets gets lost and I have exactly the same uh, with this game so I will be playing it uh, yeah this version the 2014 version and even in the 2014 version I will be playing it uh, there are two um, ways so in the video settings we of course we will be in 4k 60 so that's very nice. Is my controller not working? Oh my god. Um, anywho, uh, 4K 60, but you can also do the uh, HD or original uh, texture settings. I will be using the original ones because that's also what took some time. I compared them and it's not only that the texture is um, higher quality, several wood textures and wall textures, they simply changed. And again, I compared them and the original textures, in my view, are artistically way better. Like walls are much more eroded, much more smudgy, wood as well. And with these HD textures, yes, they may be a bit more higher resolution, but they are way too clean, way too clinical. It is, that's the same also with that, um, this is then the official HD texture set for this game. But you, then you have the mod that you can download. It's a huge 30, 40 gigabyte mod. Uh, with what is that's called the HD project. I also booted that up and again it it's just a me mesh up of original textures and then super high resolution um, uh, the, the model textures and uh, th th those model textures the most of them they, they look perfectly fine but others really not and if you take just the whole screen picture as a whole it feels more disjointed. The original game had like a uniform art style. Everything meshed nicely together. And uh, overall, it's far more engaging and immersive than, than um, often these HD textures or that HD project. I mean, a lot of kudos to the guys that did that HD project. Seriously, that's tremendous effort uh, what they did. So I really uh, shout out to them. And if you like higher resolution, by all means, it will still be an amazing experience. But for me, no, I really prefer the real deal of those uh, those original developers. That vision, that was what the game um, the, made the game great. And yeah, that, what more do you need? We now have like um, a 60, 4K 60. The, the, the game still looks amazing. So that, that was um, yeah, a little tangent on, on the, 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 the several graphic options like official, original versus HD. And then you have like the modded HD project. I really uh, say the original vision is way better. And not only in this game, also in Tomb Raider Remastered, also in 
um, Halo for sure. And there, there will be others. Also, uh, I will be if I'm. If I will also be finishing Gears of War, etc. I do think there will. There are also some. I'm not 100% sure, but there may be some remastered there as well. Yes, I think that actually the Gears of War One was remastered, and I have no interest at all in. Um, uh, Playing it uh, compared to the original graphics because it just loses its grittiness. It is it really it's so bizarre that those you have one job: just make the existing textures higher resolution, and maybe add some if there's ray tracing, add some ray tracing in or something. But don't mess with the artistic vision, and they just simply cannot do it. They're too egocentric. Those remaster developers they just want to put their own stamp on it, and it is it's uh, it's. Uh, yeah, I find it disgusting. Let me very quickly check. Uh, so we do Gears of War um, 1 HD. Is there is Gears of War 1 remastered? The game features remastered graphics, textures and sound. Yeah, so there's an ultimate edition. I will not be playing that one whatsoever. Also, if you look at Gears of War 1, it's an amazing, it looks amazing. And I've played afterwards also, of course, Gears of War 4 and 5. Yes, higher resolution, but totally more bland. There, it's, it's on a totally different level than the vibe that you get from these early 2000 games. So I will stop uh, ranting, but what I wanted to say before going on this tangent of uh, texture uh, resolution, etc., is that if you would like to, to play the game exactly as I will be doing now. Uh, let me see if everything sticks. Yes. Then I have uploaded my modification to nexus.com, nexusmods.com. I don't even know what the URL is, but it's just Google Nexus Mods and you will get there. And then you get to, you just type in Resident Evil 4 and I call it Immersive Hot. So if you um, download Immersive Hot, then you will have exactly the same as I have now. Uh, as mentioned, the game is super cheap, so you can get it. Uh, uh, yeah, it's really uh, a lot of value for money, so to say. It's super cheap and you will have a great experience, I'm sure. Um, and also I suggest um, adding also that other mod that I mentioned, that was not mine, but uh, that it's called RE4 Tweaks where you can press F1 like I'm doing now and then you have like a whole menu with uh, fixes like disable VSync, normally that's not possible um, and enable scope blur that was not in the game while it was in the original there are several little things and then also you have a trainer section and over here you go to overrides and here you can do override difficulty overrides the game's difficulty when starting a new game Starting an assignment, ADA playthrough, or starting a the mercenaries run. Um, anywho, that is what we are going to do. I'm really curious how hard it will be. Probably it will be really hard, but yeah, let's just try and get good. So that was a lot of rambling on my side. Sorry for that. Here we go. Resident Evil 4. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished.
Man, amazing. So much nostalgia. And also... Germany. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. It's now so long ago that I don't really remember exactly the game anymore. So it's more or less a new Receive game for special me. special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornia, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. All right, maybe I have to tweak the audio volumes a bit. My voiceover versus the headphones versus the recording volume. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. So cold all out of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Good luck. All right, Shit. I'm really curious. Right, guys. Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. <laughs> All right, I'm really curious um, how hard professional will be. Uh, it said something about files. So let's check the files. Village files, communication log. Let's also quickly uh, check the playing manual. Oh, wait. Uh, playing manual control configuration changes are not reflected here. Please pay careful attention to button functions. Shooting, hold down right trigger, then use the left stick to aim the laser sights. Use the left stick to aim the laser sight. Combat knife, press and hold left trigger to ready your knife, then press X to swing the weapon. Uh, standard position, easy to change the weapon. Ready weapon, yeah, so it's left and right trigger. Action button, X button. Oh, you'll be able to perform various actions by pressing the appropriate buttons that appear on the screen. Yeah, for me, that will not appear, but I will figure that out as we go. Way more immersive. Um, 
for camera you can change the camera angle using the right stick yeah but uh, not uh, full motion it's only um, very limited that you can move it uh, info on Ashley here we go that's how she looks Ashley Graham 20 daughter of the United States president she was kidnapped by an unidentified group while on her way home from her university the kidnappers motives are still unknown although there is reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider only a handful of people know about this kidnapping it's been kept on the wraps mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is the guys in intelligence say they have reliable information that Ashley's been cited somewhere in Europe but until we find out who the insider is I don't know what to believe it could be a ploy we have very few leads as to the whereabouts of Ashley but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigative team even active agents are being investigated for any information it's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed all right so um village files we have the map so we will be uh destination is the red dots then save icons are the s then we have green open red locked blue have a key uh, that are the gates so there's a gate over there locked over there that one is open the green another one is open several are open holy shit this is a big map actually was not expecting that um, how do we zoom like so yes this is pretty big uh, then we have area gray is entered that's what we have now or whitish brownish not entered is red sealed is dark red yeah what is the difference between locked and sealed i mean if something is locked then it's also sealed right so i don't understand why the areas behind the red gates are not dark reds but yeah probably overthinking it uh the typewriter that's the s for saving and the red balloon or bubble is the uh red circle is the destination um, then let's quickly check out this one we have uh, 30 ammo rounds oh wait that was to move it I also really like this inventory management now it's still uh, not really applicable but once you get more items it's really fun to really uh, order it and um, once you find a new weapon and then you are you have ammunition and then you order your loadout and then you are ready for the next encounter it's always really fun uh, let's also examine items all right so uh, firepower fire speed reload speed capacity all at level one handgun standard nine millimeter handgun again it is may not be the highest resolution but but just the, the the model design the colors etc it's just amazing the, the modern ver, uh, variations of it like with hd textures often lose that that artistic design but i'm repeating myself uh bullets handgun ammo a box of nine millimeter rounds red hawk first aid spray completely restores health it's a pity that we cannot stop that circling F life save first aid Xenatiropa I tried to read the name um, so that is the weapons recovery and then we have keys treasures and we have no treasure and no keys and what I also wanted to say is what I really like in this game is that that conversation he had with uh, his contacts that really reminds me about a bit of the, the codex uh, conversations of Metal Gear Solid this is of course also a Japanese developer they just do it so well that that whole immersiveness and it's just such a cool style those 2000s Japanese games huh. forget your makeup or something Screw you, guy. Got 
Not that way, cowboy. All right. I'm trying to avoid the inevitable. That is getting to the enemies on professional mode. Um, I could shoot. I don't know if you actually get a... Um, something for it, but... I don't want to shoot animals, but you they do drop items. They drop ammunition, they drop um, money. I'm not sure. Especially on professional, do I have enough bullets to do it? And do I... Yeah, I could... Just Normally I'm a big animal friend. So I don't want to shoot animals, but I can of course imagine that these are possessed crows or something. Uh, but I'm also, I'm not sure, I don't know if I corrected that sentence earlier, uh, or completed that sentence. But I'm not sure whether you get achievement for it if you shoot them, and probably achievements are not unlocked anyways. Because I'm... Uh, using a trainer for the difficulty level yeah so if I now shoot them and they don't even drop that much then I shoot shoot all of them either I will be shooting all of them or I will be shooting none of them all right I'm gonna suspend my disbelief I'm gonna imagine that they are Wickedly bad crows. But the problem is, I really don't have a lot of am ammunition. Uh, probably to spare on professional. And shooting them from the sky really is harder than it uh, looks like. It's really tricky. God damn it. I could of course... Yeah, I'm going just to continue and hopefully they will land later on. Or shall we just not shoot them? Yeah, I don't know. I'm a pretty big bird fan. Um, what are we going to do? This uh, always the start of the game takes a bit longer. For me, or yeah, I'm actually quite slow always, but um, because it is also this is, by the way, good training. Of course, it is also making these decisions. Once I make these decisions, then we can just here. This is what I mean. It's so easy to miss. I don't have the bullets. Once I made the decision, then we can just continue with the game. But now I'm really doubting how am I going to play it. Like a total good guy, don't harm animals. Yeah, 500, it's really not that much. Oops. God damn it, this is going to cost me, I'm sure. Because you, you do get like 500 pesetas, but you also have to buy all the ammunition that you wasted on them. Where the hell is he? All 
All right. I can adjust the field of view, but actually, nice. I do like it. Ah, this looks quite um, valuable. Uh, but I do like it actually, that narrow field of view. It really gives that claustrophobic feeling. Ah, this is actually a treasure. Spinal, although small in size, it appears to have some value. Oh, some value. All right, let's. We will just shoot the um, the crows. Let's just imagine that they're super bad. Ah, maybe on professional there are also just less items in the game because I think on normal during my playtesting there was something over there. All right, I'm really a little bit anxious fighting the first enemy. What I meant by the way with HD textures and normal textures, these walls they really look like dirty, moist, weathered eroded, just all dilapidated. <coughs> the HD textures, they're not very super dissimilar, but they just look too clean to me. I really um, like these old school textures better. And honestly, I don't <coughs> even find them that low resolution. All right, so I will not have button prompts, but yeah, that's also much more fun. I can just myself just press the button and see if, if there's something, like here. Normally there would now be a big X be, uh, in front of this cupboard saying check it out. But now I, I, you don't need it, you can just go into the cupboard and then press X yourself and then you get uh, this little dialogue or this little line. There are very small items on the shelf, nothing particularly unusual here. Excuse me, sir. Also the chimney uh, or the, the fireplace uh, bricks, the, um, how do you call them? Those textures, they are way worse than the I was wondering HD. if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estas haciendo aquí? Lórgate cabrón! Lord. Sorry to have bothered you. Dudes, dudes, what the hell are you doing? Freeze. Freeze, police. I said freeze! Alright. <coughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, they're more aggressive. Alright, but now. He did go down pretty quickly. Shit. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Allí está. Mierda. Something rotten is cakes on the table. It seems like someone was eating here until just recently. All right, what I do notice is that immediately after one hits, Leon is... Uh, is pretty injured. He is um, holding his stomach. We don't have the hut, of course, but I'm sure there will be quite some, was quite some damage. Um, and also, what I did with that um, RE4 tweaks mod, this one, I put the uh, item. I enabled the option to not have enemy bodies despawn, so they will always be there. I may 
revert that option if all the enemies um, like in the village if it will just be too many that it becomes um, unrealistic or if they all fall in the exact same posture that it also becomes artificial so to say um, and what I also noticed but that could just be me not doing correct headshots with that option enabled I don't really see exploding heads anymore which I did have on normal difficulty level um, or without that option um, with persistent uh, not despawning bodies while playtesting often their heads exploded I have yet to see that but I'm sure it will be here as well um, I hope but just to note that I have like some not despawning uh, option enabled. Normally the bodies despawn. And what I was saying about those bricks over there in the HD version, those bricks are way um, cleaner. There's no white moist, there's no dirtiness at all around the fireplace. Which really is, uh, it's, it's not what you want. Something is burning in the fire, but I can't tell what it is. Uh, probably a human. Something rotten is caked on the table. It seems like someone was eating here until just recently. Old books, none of them in English. Looks like they have killed a lot of people. I hope Ashley is okay. Right, so there's only one way out, and that is just through here. Holy fuck. Maybe it's a good idea to... Shall I already fully restore my health? I have no idea how... Uh, wounded Leon is. Alright, uh, let's just... No, I will not do it. What the hell? What the holy fucking hell? That guy, I shot him in the head. I'm pretty sure. Alright, I got him. Ah, that was another guy. Anyways, these guys are not really dropping a lot of ammo. Not as much as you would like. Here, this is what I mean. This guy is lying that way. They are all lying more or less in the same position or maybe not fully. It is of course a little bit unrealistic. This is not how the game was designed to normally they all despawn. But yeah, it's, a, it's pretty cool if it's persistent, I would say. So let's keep it on for now. All right, this is where the police guys were. And there they are now. Oh, no. The bridge is out. I can't go back this way. God damn it. I actually like it uh, when Leon is injured. He doesn't have his weapon. Uh, up to his shoulder which provides uh, more view of the um, normally that weapon is blocking a bit if you're just walking around the the screen because there's already such a narrow field of view so 
So personally, I don't mind being injured and him lowering his uh, weapon hands. Anywho. That was done. What I could have done maybe. I really should learn to play this game because it will probably become quite hard. Make use of the environment. I could have immediately run back in. And once I was in. Oh, ah, now there is no um, cabinet here. In, on normal difficulty level, I'm not sure if that, if that is related to the difficulty. There is a cabinet here, which you can push in front of the door. At least, I'm pretty sure that was in this house. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not overlooking anything. But there was a cabinet. And then once you have blocked the door, I guess you can maybe take them out from example through here. So there are multiple ways <laughs> to go about it. Because I do think on this difficulty level, at least with a non-upgraded Leon, probably two hits. He probably cannot take much more than two. Alright, but we have a save point. And we have items. Very nice. Very nice. So far so good. that maybe the other crow will not be startled if I shoot his body. Come on, steady your aim, Leon. Here, this is what I mean. Now the other one stays on the ground. That's very nice. Sorry, crows, but it is what it is. It is actually quite unrealistic. That, and maybe not. Crows, they do scavenge stuff. I wanted to say that crows um, are a source of ammunition etc but yeah they do i think steal things from humans in real life as well like rings or little beads and stuff ah poor doggy Alright, I need to be careful because here is another trap. And that's one. There are multiple traps here. One over here. Ah, I remember this from playtesting. There will be some explosives as well. So before going there. Let's read the descriptions. Hand grenade, a handy explosive that will detonate several seconds after throwing. Herb that restores partial health. Alright, that's what we need. Mm. 
Let's first save the game before continuing. And here we go. Let's fight some mother suckers. They are, I think, on this difficulty level much more aggro. They run more, they use their weapons more. So you really have less time to just go for a nice headshot. It's also the music. All right, let's try to captate him. God damn it again! No, I think it may be because of that option that we enabled. I'm not sure. I do think also it takes too many bullets to kill these suckers. And. Are we missing any herbs here? Uh, can we disable these bombs? I'm sure not. Nope. All right, there will be more guys here. It is not so much the guys themselves that are freaky. It's that music that is really unsettling, I find. We have a bridge, and I'm sure there will be a guy to the left here. Wow. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, there they are. I can just shoot them from here. Ah, no. Now he's aggroing. Yeah, I don't really like it. Their, their bodies are clipping too much. Through the uh, environment, I think I will disable that persistence body. Come on, let me land a headshot. God damn it, I cannot spare these bullets. Jesus Christ! Nice! So I wasted initially some bullets, but afterwards it worth three headshots. It's a wooden box, looks like it can be broken. Exactly. Ah, yeah, this one. Like, for example, also, I think in the remaster, scenes like this are just 
censored. It, it's much less um, gruesome, so to say. That is really regressive. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. That was in the time that you can still talk about two sexes. That is a little bit more complicated in 2024, I would say. Um, anywho, there will be more guys coming up. Yeah, fuck me, it goes pretty quickly. We only have 21 bullets. And there will be a big fight coming up. Not sure how I'm going to tackle it. There are two guys over there. Alright, um, I'm playing it safe. Don't want to have to redo everything. Let's quickly do a save. I'm playing it safe. Let's do a save. Oh, wait. Um, left side over here. Oh, watch out. Bear traps everywhere. Wanted to see if you could move the skulls. But they're pretty fixed. Alright, here we go. No more kidding around. No more kidding around. Oh shit, I have to remember how, oh, again, almost forgot the bear traps. There they are. Alright, I cannot really target them, so... Ah, this, is this the house that we already, no, I wanted to say that we were already in, but no, I see a guy here. Sneaky mother sucker. Can we get an angle on his head? We sure can. And again, no... Heads exploding. Which is super fun, that head exploding. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. So we go... Um, Um, I don't know where it was, gameplay. Sorry, one second, I have no clue where it was.
I hear dead bodies never disappear. Make it so enemies never disappear. I'm not sure whether this is linked to headshots. But let's see if we now, uh, or head explosions, let's see if we get a bit more of them. Right, so we are going to enter a pretty big fight, I think. We do have some grenades that could be helpful. We only have 27 bullets, god damn it. I don't feel too comfortable here, but it is what it is. What can we do? Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Playing manual 2. Reloading, press A while holding down right trigger to reload your firearm. Yeah, so I don't need to hold down um, the right trigger. So I don't need to aim my weapon to reload, which is nice with that mod. For me, it is just pressing uh, the B button. Kicks. Approaching enemies that are either stunned or on their knees will allow Leon to perform kicks as prompted by the action button. Ah, that's good to know because I don't see that button. And I was indeed curious when does the kick work? When they are on the ground, lying, uh, because you can really sometimes knock them out momentarily. They're just uh, unconscious. But then it didn't work. So it is they need to be still on their knees or stunned i don't know what the stun state is but it uh, is exactly but whether that is also whether that also includes them just lying flat out on the ground but uh, then the kick doesn't really work at least as far as i saw but let's remember that kick that will be very useful for uh, saving ammunition changing inventory screens use left button and right button to switch back and forth between the weapons recovery and the keys treasure screens All right, I'm really how you how do you call it? A bit procrastinating. Um Yeah, because we now have the next Here, there is a safe uh, machine over there, but that door is locked. The next safe machine will be uh, the green S over there, but then we have to get through a pretty tough section over here. So I don't want to have to redo all this. I'm just gonna do a bit of backtracking or actually a lot of backtracking. Sorry, but otherwise, it will be annoying. Yeah, this is actually also pretty annoying. It's quite far. Also allows me to get to grips with the nuances of the controls, like how sensitive the stick is, etc. The analog stick. And I'm also, of course, doing this to avoid the inevitable or delay the inevitable. Here again, be careful here where there is the bear trap. Because um, I don't really feel like that big fight, but here we go. Wonder what is Leon's last name? Let's quickly look that up. So we do RE4. Leon, 
Colts Kennedy. All right, Leon Kennedy. It's a really uh, big zoom. Alright, I also disabled the, the loop button. I maybe should have kept that in. Because if I... I knew from playtesting that there was like this option here to look. I will not be... Um, yeah, if you are not aware of that. If you don't know it without a button prompt. It's really not obvious that you can use a binocular here. So maybe that look one I will... Um, Re-enable. Uh, right, anyways, this is going to be uh, a tough one, I can tell you. Here we go. Ah, fuck my life. See you later, dudes. Ah, fuck me. See you later, dudes. Woohoo! See you later, dudes. Fuck my life. This is <laughs> this is what I was a bit afraid of on professional difficulty level. It's a different ball game. Um. Anyways, I'm going to use the um, the grenades. So we want to lure them in in a nice bottleneck. That worked. Um, yeah, maybe that worked pretty well actually. You know what? Screw it. Right, I totally missed my marker. Rolly, no way. Or that's what I mean. Are you kidding me? Alright, screw this shit. I have six bullets. 
So there is a second wave incoming. Alright, I am going to go the... Healthy route. Being close to them. Right, I wonder if I shoot her, will the other ones be. What? Yeah, again, they are all over there on shop. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Um. Testing that this letter was here, but Ooh. holy fuck, they're not making, they're not getting around. Ooh. All right, this is not working. Damn it! 
is a pretty different matter than on normal difficulty level, I can tell you. I, yeah, I still have some bullets. Um, it looks like those fire bombs don't do that much damage, actually. All right, here we go. No more kidding around. <laughs> Alright, I knew there was like a, it was a timed, I don't know what the trigger is. Uh, it was a timed battle, whether after you kill enough enemies or whatever it is, but... Lord I, I can tell you... I got pretty lucky over there. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> that was not um, really my Honey, doing. I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. All right, I do know that um, there is way more in this village than if, if you look around well, you can find way more than you would expect. This is where I play tested uh, my mods or the, the hot mods. There's quite a lot of stuff here. So let's clear out the village then get to the next save point and then we'll continue in the next episode sorry i'm really playing super bad i'm totally aware i'm playing like a sissy but i will eventually get the hang of it i hope There's an unpleasant odor coming from the kettle. It sure doesn't smell like a refreshing drink to me. All right, I'm sure this is the antagonist, this guy. What a sinister looking fellow. The shelf is nailed to the wall. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Are so good. Um, red herb. I think you can combine it with the green one for full health. Mixing it with the green help, uh, herb will completely restore health. Alright, I also have to pick up the phone actually, but let's quickly clear out this area. Although quickly by my standards is pretty slowly still. Ah, maybe it was this one that I thought was in the other house. But this is what you can do with um, cabinets. 
many small insects are feasting on leftovers. Uh, this is what we need. Shotgun. Hand grenades. Shotgun shells. Definitely the type I don't get along with. Alright. Nothing much there. There are several small items here, nothing useful. But that is useful, or could be useful. There we go. And even when I'm trying to get through here quite... Um, thoroughly, I'm sure I still will be overlooking items. This is... They really put for some items quite. They very well hit items in plain sight. To just breeze past them. Ah, and I also forget there, there was like over here we need to go. Leo. Lay on, that's not necessary. Uh, one sec. There we go. Right, was there more? Maybe over there a bit, yes. That door was locked, that's the way we need to go. Also really funny, Leon can jump from incredible heights. Right, we already checked over there. This is the door where everybody went in. Villagers, it's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. Here, this is what I mean with stuff being hidden in nooks and crannies. It looks like a pretty empty village, but if you really scan through it, like over here. There are quite a lot of items left and right. A yellow herb. Ah, here, this is also what I mean. Like this one. I found it earlier during playtesting, but you can really easily overlook it. It really blends in the environment very well. Alright, I think we are pretty much done here. We can always return still. We actually have to return probably because there's like this um, door at the back that was still locked. Handgun ammo. And something on the wall. Alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. 
we will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sent a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men stay alert, Chief Bitoris Mendes. All right, a chief. It sounds like a governmental person. All right, we are not good on herbs. Let's see what this one does. Mixing it with a green herb will increase your maximum health. Ah, that's amazing. Let's do that. Uh, and then maybe also with a red one. Then we have a pretty amazing mix. All right, it's too bad without the uh, hot that I've enabled, you cannot really see uh, the stats of Leon, how much it increased his health. There's not like a page, just like the weapon screen over here. You can see the, uh, the stats of the weapon. You don't really have that for Leon himself, I think. All right, here we go. This is where I got to during playtesting. No. Let's first bake this into the safe as well. There we go. Um, yeah, so we will be continuing in the next episode. It's really quite tough on this difficulty level. That are, by the way, collectibles that we have to uh, mop up. One there, one over there, and some others. Uh, but I'm sure it will be um, it will be tough and challenging. But yeah, with better weapons, etc., it will probably be an amazing, uh, amazing experience. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, don't forget always to keep on gaming. Later.